Your next step's a little different. You're gonna take that liquor there and age that up real pretty on some chips. Blending the alcohol is one thing, but when you start putting this wood in it, you can change that taste profile tremendous. You can mess it up real easy. You can put the wrong amount of chips or the wrong type chips in 24 hours, and it won't be the same good jar that you started with. So be careful. You got one hour, get your liquor on chips. Your time starts now. Good luck, guys. We want it to look good and taste good. What are you going for in yours, Ivy? I don't know. Well, this is simply you ain't putting the liquor in the barrel. You're yep. putting the barrel in the liquor. Yeah. Tater, I see you got a little tub of chips you brought from home. Yeah, it's a white oak. It grows everywhere around here. I char it to my specs. I do a lot of aging, so I'm pretty confident in that, in that order of the business. Did you notice the chips he was using? Dark, dark, dark. Yeah. Ivy, are you going to go back and use some of your other product there to blend? Because your proof is real high. Yeah, I'm going to fix that to correct my proof. I'm going to bring it down a little bit using the tails. Look at here. Here we go. Taters is them starting to turn a little color, and that's how fast they work. Oh, yeah. Well, fellas, I believe I've messed it up all I can. All in and all done. There, there it is. is. All right. We'll let the spirit we settle it. You can head on out to your luck, short. Gabby. Same to you, Tater. So here's the jaw. Enjoy. All right. All righty. Well, you head on out there with Tater. You won't see these jars again for 24 hours. Good Have luck, Gabby. Thank you. You got 30 minutes. Get a good jar on the table to pick your litter. Your time starts now. Good luck, guys. Yeah. Pretty amber color. Honey colored. Ivy's is definitely closer to probably about our three-year-old. Damn, taters is clear. You can't even see it. Does that look better? Taters has yeah, a little yeah. deeper, richer color. Yeah. Tater over there, his is a little bit darker, so it'd be, you know, higher, probably about five, six, you know, my higher age statement brandies. Mm. So how's yours look to you, Ivy? It looks very pretty. Well, it is, ain't it? What about yourself? Well, just a little dark. To me, I had a little too much color in it, more than I like to have in it. So you really did some rapid aging there, with the, at least with the color. I don't know. I may have overdone just looking at it. Yeah, you can definitely over oak, for sure. Too much of the wood characteristics, and you start to lose the apple. Now, Ivy, yours is a little bit lighter in color. I didn't use that much, just a little. Just a little bit, yeah. I was happy with the rapid aging. It was very light. I didn't really want to overpower it with the oak. Can we use some of our clear spirits to cut into this? Absolutely. To maybe back the wood I out of it. a safer option. I've been at it for 15 years. Ivy's are really catching up, so I better step my game up. Uh-oh. Ivy's actually tasting. She's to that point. That's the first time I've seen Ivy taste anything during this competition. That means just got real, Tater. You better buckle up. <laughs> buckle up, Tater Chip. I feel really good about my jar. I'm happy with this nice caramel apple flavor, also with the little hint of peach. She had a happy face, Digger. Yeah. I'm pretty happy. That's a confident woman. Here you go. Enjoy. All righty. We'll come get you on. We reach a decision. Thank you. Good You're luck, welcome. Ivy. Good Thank luck you too. so good much. Luck. Ivy's new to the craft, but she's got a good nose for it, and she's a good distiller. So, you know, it may be me that goes home. Who never knows? It is what it is. That's all I can do with it. Well, it looks mighty fine. Right, wrong, or indifferent. That's all well, I can do with it. I'll come get you when we get that decision made. All right, then. Thank you all for letting me do it. Yes, Thank sir. You. Good luck. Good luck. Those jars look really good. It's going to be a tough decision. Abby is the closest to me. Look at that clarity on that thing. I've experimented with chips for years, and I'm really surprised she got that good a color out of that little tiny bit of chips. Proof is up. Good bead. Yeah. So you happy? I think I did pretty good, but I tempered it down a little bit. I didn't want to go too much. No. It's got a very nice, fresh nose. You can smell, smell the oak. You get a little bit of the oak, not too much, but you definitely get, you still get that apple. Very smooth for the proof that it is. Really nice. I think Avi does have more of a green apple taste. Mm -hmm. Avi, she actually added some peaches. Well, it's not technically Applejack then if she put peaches in it. 
it's a fruit brandy. Applejack has to be 100% apples. The trick we going but on. This is backwoods Applejack, so we're not going to hold them to the same government yeah. standards. That's true. You're the moonshiner, so you don't really follow all the regulations. So. <laughs> <laughs> all in all, I think I did it. I did my best. How do you think you did? I, I'm picky about mine. It wasn't really up to far as best I've ever done, I don't think. Taters, just by the color, it looks four or five, even up to six years if it's in a barrel, uh, versus Ivy's closer to a two, three-year aging. That may be a problem for it. Taters. It may be too oaky. That's a great bead. Well, we had 100, Tim. Pretty close to 100. Nice color. That I'm ready, ready to taste yep, it. I'm radical. ready. Come on. Kind of scares me, at least, to judge in what I'm doing, you know, because she's seen the best there is. That's a different nose, total different nose. You're definitely getting the wood notes. Mm. Now, after I taste it, my nose changed. You just get a nice balance. It improves after you taste it. Very I'm good picking drink. up the oh, baking spices drink. now. Yeah, it's a different apple, more like a pie flavor. Yep, that will definitely happen. Yeah. The longer you age, you're yeah. going to get more of a caramelized, baked apple type flavoring. You're going to get some of that spice from the wood. Mm -hmm. I tried to add a little more of my clear to lighten it up. Mm -hmm. It's a little too oaky for me. Welcome back. Y'all probably gave us one of the hardest deliberations that we've had in the history of this show. One was just a wee bit better. So Ivy, beautiful Applejack that you created. Little fresher apple on the nose. I had beautiful flavors and aromas all through the finish. The color's a little bit lighter. The taste profile is right on the money. And I think the peach actually gives that little sweetness in there. And Tater? You was very concerned that you had got way too oaky. It was spot on. A lot of apples. Tater, yours was aged a little bit more, so you had more of that baked apple flavor. Had a beautiful nose as well. Nice finish. I have to say, I would be honored to serve either one of your Apple Jacks at my home. All right, guys. We wish we could make two master stillers, but unfortunately, we can't. Tater, you're the next master distiller. Well, thank Congratulations, you. Congratulations, old buddy. You'll also win a limited run of your Applejack at Sugarlands Distilling Company. Getting my liquor on the shelf's gonna be exciting. My family will be proud of me for it. I'm so happy for Tater. 15 years of working on your craft like that and you finally get your validation is unbelievable.